In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom Revit tag. For this example, I'm going to use doors as an example. But this process can be repeated for any type of tag that you want to create, whether it be a door tag, window tag, wall tag, furniture. It's all the same process. You just have one little step that's different for each one that you create. So the first thing you need to do is create a new generic tag family. I'm going to do that by coming up here to File, and then New, New Family. And then I'm going to come here to Annotations. And I'm going to pick this one that just says Generic Tag. And what this is basically doing is that I can use this file to create any tag that I want. I just have to change the category that this is associated with. And that's all that this little red note is telling me is to do that. So I'm just going to delete that. But I'm just going to come up here and click on this icon right here that has the folder. And this brings up the Family Category and Parameters box. And so this is where I select what kind of tag that I'm making. And so like I mentioned, um, I'm going to make a door tag. So I'm just going to scroll till I find doors. But if you were making any other different type of tag, you would just pick the one that that's associated with, whether it be a window, a wall, uh, furniture. You just pick the category that you want this custom tag to be linked to. So I'm just going to hit door and hit OK. And so now I have this blank family. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is create a label. So we don't want to do text because text doesn't change. Um, what I want to do is I want to create a label so that way when I make a parameter in my Revit project, it's going to uh, pull that based off of what that one actually is. And so there are two types of parameters. We have uh, a type mark, which is really helpful for when things have the same mark such as walls and windows. If I have a wall type one, I'm going to have multiple instances of that wall, but I just want to tag them all as wall type one. Doors are a little bit different though, because I have a door to every room and every door is going to have a different number. And so in this case, I want to do just a mark. And so I'm going to pull that in and then I'm going to create a sample value. And normally my doors are going to be three uh, digits to match the room number. So I'm just going to type 100 here to be my sample value. And so I just want to get this as close to the center as I can. And then if I want to customize this in any way, I can just click here and edit my text like I normally would. So uh, I'm okay with Arial and I'm okay with 330 seconds. But if I ever wanted to change those, then I could change that to be the text and the size that I want it to be. But I'm just going to leave it as that for now. And then these blue dots kind of create the uh, parameter width. So I just want to kind of pull that close to those three digits as I can. And then from this point, all I have to do is create some lines to kind of make the shape of my tag. So I'm just going to draw just a basic rectangle here. And then just use my dimensions to kind of get this size the way that I want them to be. So, um, so I'm just going to change this to a quarter inch. And you might just have to play around with this a little bit to get it to the size that you want it to be. And I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. And then now I'm just going to play with my text just to get to make it look a little more centered. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a little, create a little fill region right here. And so this is going to be my door tag. 
And so I'm just going to go File, Save As, and save this in a spot that I save all of my files to use in the future. So I'm just going to call this door tag. And then I'll just load this back into my project. And then I'll come up here and use my tag tool. I'm not going to do a leader. And I'm going to rotate it to be vertical. And then that way I can come in here and change the value. And that's how you create your own custom tag.